established our presence here as a company in 2020, recognizing that here in Dubai is a place where the blockchain industry was really blossoming. This is a $1 trillion industry that obviously the IFC cannot ignore. We I believe that events like Swell are very important because it brings all the parties within that ecosystem in one place to talk to each other. So you will have the bankers, you will have the tech and innovation companies. And as the market has now hopefully stabilized, is now starting to pick up a little. I think seeing how the start of this next cycle runs is going to be... The owner of the asset can sleep at night in the knowledge that they know what they own and they have legal title to it. We have a product called on-demand liquidity, which uses XRP. And so I go to those banks and say, hey, you know, should we engage on that topic? And they're like, look, even though you won the case, the United States government is still hostile towards crypto. The United States government is still hostile towards crypto. The OCC is hostile towards crypto. And until that changes, the banks in the United States are not going to engage meaningfully. The SEC should be part of the solution. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, the laws are clear. But yet we can't answer is ETH a security. Um, but the distributed ledger technology and the shared ledgers, the potential for that to bring efficiencies to payment and settlement seem pretty, pretty like high potential. And I think that's an area we want to be. So the banks are thinking how they can address the requirements and change the experience of their customers. If the technology like blockchain and Ripple is more appropriate to bring that to the customers. Let's not do that. Let's not build the darn thing in the first place. We shouldn't design it or develop it. It's just like when we rolled out the internet, the internet was just a technology that allows us to do a lot of things much cheaper and better. And now... For the ride, pal. It's the entire crew. You go. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast. No coffee. Just straight extra. Extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest uh, Appreciate you stopping by Smashing them likeies, stuffing some bags Go ahead Throw on those moon suits Throw on those pilot shades Buckle up, cause the future's Extra, extra Bullish, let's go full speed Full throttle Into the cryptoverse, we got a busy day Today lined up for you We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap Today at 1.4 trillion up about 0.7 percent in the past 24 we got xrp in that number five spot right around 68 69 cents stellar xlm right around 12 13 cents btc 35,678. we got eth right around 18 19 hundo xdc right around five and a half cents flare 0.012 songbird double zero four five one one quick announcement to get started we got a new raffle now live for all the rich duck coin holders out there we got a rank 300 now live while we're at the secret raffles links down below we got quite a few videos to go through today kicking it off a of ripple moments ago monica long kicked off the seventh annual ripple swell in dubai established our presence here as a company in 2020, recognizing that here in Dubai is a place where the blockchain industry was really blossoming and further supported very critically by regulators in the UAE. So we can thank DFSA and VARA for setting some clear rules and regulations for an industry and innovation to take place. Crawl walk, then we rock it. Another one from Ripple here, DIFC role in advancing Web3 for the future of finance. Ripple swell. So I would say digital assets as a whole. This is a $1 trillion industry that obviously the IFC cannot ignore. We strive to embrace it really and ensure that we regulate it and we ensure that we provide those opportunities and protection to the investors and those that are using those digital assets to unlock that potential. DFSA has issued a number of years ago to allow those companies uh, dealing with crypto and blockchain to test their products before they launch them to the market. There was also the crypto token regime where the XRP got approved really recently that also uh, embraces those technologies and we've recently also announced the Dubai AI and Web3 campus and the DIFC to attract more than 500 international AI and Web3 companies to come and set up shop in the UAE. XRP anybody? We got another one from Ripple. I believe that events like Swell are important because it brings all the parties within the ecosystem in one place to talk to each other. Dubai is the hub of the hubs that those companies can really leverage from and use XRP at the center 
Dubai and the DIFC are leading the way and are shaping the future of finance. I believe that events like Swell are very important because it brings all the parties within that ecosystem in one place to talk to each other. So you will have the bankers, you will have the tech and innovation companies, you will have regulators, all of them sitting and talking to each other. And these are forums where we can discuss the challenges and put them on the table. Dubai is the hub of hubs because those companies can, can really leverage from and use. Ripple Swell, full effect. XRP at the center stage and another one Bitstamp CTO and Ripple's Pat Thielen discuss where the industry is headed with the increase in regulatory clarity on day one of Ripple Swell. Any closing comments as it relates to where the industry is headed? Now we've got in a lot of regions real clarity on the regulations around that. I think the next 12, 18 months of delivering against that as they come into effect, as the solutions come uh, matching that, and as the market has now hopefully stabilized, is now starting to pick up a little. I think seeing how the start of this next cycle runs is going to be really interesting as a, as a predictor for, for how quickly that moves. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Crawl walk, then we rock it. We got another one from Ripple Medico. Big news coming from Ripple Swell. HSBC announced it is working with Medico SA as it plans to launch a new digital asset custody servers for institutional clients who invest in tokenized securities, XRP, what a time to be a holder, BTC who, ETH who, they know what's coming. Another one from Ripple Industry Leaders from Zodiac Custody Center Charter, HSBC Medical discussed the strategic objectives, institutional use cases, and optimizing efficiency in the tokenized economy. Yep, using XRP is always much more successful. Providing we have a set understanding of what the rules of the game are, and that really comes down to the regulatory aspect that we have, that ensures that at the end of the day, the owner of the asset can sleep at night in the knowledge that they know what they own and they have legal title to it. It's being kept in a secure way. Justin, Big Bragg, Arlen House, DC, Fintech Week, XRP drops. Can the US still be a leader in the crypto market? long as they get a hold of all that portal. Okay, so you just said you think there is still time for the U.S. to be a leader. How much time is still time? Yeah. Like where in the hourglass are we? Well, I mean, look, I want to be realistic about this. The United States is, what, 23% of global GDP. Mm. Like the, if the U.S. gets its act together years from now, it probably it's such an important economic actor that it, it feels like that option always exists because of where, of where the U.S. stands in a global GDP per point of view. And it is really the, the finance capital of the world. But there are other finance capitals of the world. And certainly Dubai is you know, trying to emerge even more so. Singapore, for sure. London, for sure. And not surprisingly, you know, I've said publicly, 80% of Ripple's hiring this year will be outside the United States. And it's partly, why would I want to hire more and more people in the United States when the U.S. is making it hostile for me to operate here? And even with the SEC case, I mean, we have U.S. banks as customers. And, you know, I've talked to them post the SEC case and I say, okay, so great. Now we can, we have a product called on-demand liquidity, which uses XRP. And so I'll go to those banks and say, you know, should we engage on that topic? And they're like, look, even though you won the case, the United States government is still hostile towards crypto. Even though you won the case, the United States government is still hostile towards crypto. The OCC is hostile towards crypto. And until that changes, the banks in the United States are not going to engage meaningfully. So I don't think the window has passed for the U.S. to be a leader but I think uh, every day that goes by, these other markets, that they want the entrepreneurs there. They want growth. Uh, and, you know, again, I'm mentioning Singapore, London, and Dubai as three key examples. But, I mean, the Ripple's London office is our second largest office. Even with the clarity, banks are still iffy on using digital assets like XRP. Thanks to the SEC, make America great again. And let's unlock the full potential using XRP and the XRP ledger during the swamp. Free the standard. The elephant in the room, ETH gate, Riz XRP, Big Brad Garland House. The SEC should be part of the solution. The SEC should be part of the solution. Other countries, it's no problem. And you joke, I mean, I think you were joking to my meeting with the SEC today. <laughs> in another country, that wouldn't, I mean, I've met with central banks. I've met with, uh, I mean, you, you name the regulator and it's kind of like, yeah, no problem. And a, a open meeting, open dialogue. We talk about what Ripple's doing. We talk about our view on the crypto industry. No problem. Here in the U.S., it's like, uh, you know, it's like, oh, the laws are clear. Mm -hmm. But yet we can't answer is ETH a security. We got the evidence. Get those jumpsuits. Get those gel cells ready. Gary, Gary, you still there? Why is the SEC stifling American innovation? Meanwhile, propping up BTC and ETH 
which are slow, outdated technologies. And at one point, China controlled most of the mining power for ETH and BTC. Makes you wonder. We got one from Uphold Inc. Topper by Uphold is now live on the XRP toolkit. Interface designed to connect users to the XRP ledger, send, receive, and trade any asset issued on the XRP ledger created by Towo Labs. Check out the XRP toolkit, xrptoolkit.com. Trade on the XRP ledger. Be your own bank. BYOB. We got one from 801 XRP. It's hard to say what the future of the unbacked crypto or even stable coins is in the future system, but the distributed ledger technology and shared ledgers, the potential to that to bring efficiencies to payments and settlements seems pretty, pretty high potential. Distributed ledger technologies. And you know, the whole theme of financial innovation and payments is, you know, that's just a, an active area. So whether it's two years ago or this year or, you know, coming, I don't think it's, this is an area we'll, we'll stay active in. Um, I think broadly our approach to that has been the same. What need is it filling, this new technology? Um, can we govern it? Can we manage the risks? So I think um, for the CBDC, and this is more a central bank, not treasury decision, it's a liability of the central bank, so it'll be their decision to make whether they would want to issue it. I think there's been interest within the global central bank world of wholesale, how it meets the needs for better, more efficient settlements. And uh, there feels like there's a need there. And I think there's a lot of experimentation going on in terms of, of across banks, central banks, and how to do this. And I think that's being involved in the design and experimentation and setting up the standards and uh, requirements seems like a, a good place to be. Um, the report that we wrote two years ago on stable coins was about if the private sector wants to create a payment mechanism, this is what the regulatory framework should look like. It is payments. So my view is that should be within the federal regulatory system. Um, and it should make sure that if it offers a dollar, it should be able to be able to be redeemed at a dollar. Um, and so there's a set of regulations we would propose, and we still very strongly encourage legislation on this. We think that there is a gap in this case. Um, but more broadly speaking, like this whole technology, the crypto technology, I don't, you know, it's hard to say, I don't know where you are on this these days, like um, what the future of unbacked crypto or even stable coins is in the future system. Um, but the distributed ledger technology and the shared ledgers, the potential for that to bring efficiencies to payment and settlement seem pretty, pretty like high potential. And I think that's an area we want to be um, thinking about how to, you know, promote, allow for the benefits of that, allow private sector to innovate there and still man and manage the risks of su such an important function for the economy. Right. So that's where uh, we've been on that. So. So I know what you hold. We got one from Mr. Man XRP. Margin, Delentine of Ripple. I'm not sure if Ripple and Swift are competitors. Swift is a messaging mechanism. Ripple moves value. Ripple goes beyond the exchange of data in a single API. Messaging and settlement. We're here to make a dent in the universe. You're going to need a bigger bag of that. XRP. I have the impression both Swift and Ripple are not quite sure whether to be competitors and to wall off or rather collaborate and build something together. You know both very well. So what's your opinion on that? I personally think that um, um, the, the Ripple and Swift are doing different things. Uh, it's true that at the end you are talking about transferring value, but um, R Swift is a messaging mechanism. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's widely present with the large users, but it remains only to the exchange of data. Uh, but when you get to the blockchain and what Ripple is doing, you are going beyond that ex ex exchange of data. You are actually settling value. You are providing the finality and certainty of the payment. So I think it could be very much complementary. Now, probably the, you know, it takes time before the business lines can, can meet each other. But I think you are do doing different things in, in this space. But isn't the Ripple approach the superset then of what Swift is doing and would rather run a Swift obsolete if you reach your, your goal? Uh, no, I won't say that. I don't think that, um, uh, I don't think the idea is really to compete or, uh, at this level. Um, what, what we see is, um, um, blockchain is there to address, uh, a need. Uh, and the way that we are using this technology is also uh, address a series of inefficiencies. Mm -hmm. And what we see, for instance, in the um, current use cases that you hear in the market, like, such as the global remittance or even the corporate to corporate uh, flows. Uh, so the banks are thinking how they can address a requirements and change the experience of their customers. If the technology like blockchain and Ripple is more appropriate to bring that to the customers, that's a choice of the customers at the end.
Meanwhile, Ripple broadens the reminiscences between Africa, Gulf states, UK, Australia. At its annual conference, Ripple also announced product enhancements and license updates, including a focus on payments between enterprises. Small businesses, you know what's coming. They know what's coming. They can't stop it, XRP. Built for payments, the king of utility. We got Warren Davidson, central bank digital currency should never be designed, developed, or established. It's like building a Death Star and it's saying you won't turn it on. Today, I offered an amendment to stop the creations, CBDCs. Thank the chairman. This amendment expands upon the base text. The base text says that none of these funds may be used to establish a central bank digital currency. And a central bank digital currency shouldn't uh, be established. Establishing could mean, though, that it has already been created. Waiting in the wings, just in case we need it. So for Star Wars fans, imagine if we let the Empire build the Death Star, as long as they promise not to turn it on. Let's not do that. Let's not build the darn thing in the first place. We shouldn't design it or develop it, and it shouldn't exist. So that's the point of this amendment. Stop wasting your time on something that the American people don't want and Congress hasn't authorized. We got another one from Ripple, introducing Ripple Payments, the next evolution of Ripple Payments, product delivering a license and the end solution for FLs and SMEs with 70 plus payout markets, expanded crypto liquidity option integration with XRP Ledger Dex, and much, much more. The best is still yet to come. Flip the chain. Ripple mentions about Rocket Fuel in the article today. Rocket Fuel CEO Peter Jensen shares with blockchain and crypto. You cut out the intermediary. There's going to be a big change in the financial industry. There are going to be winners and losers. Bye bye, middlemen. Does this kind of technology add new efficiency to the time and age where we need things done quickly? Yeah, it's um, it's just like when we rolled out the internet, the internet was just a technology that allows us to do a lot of things much cheaper and better. And now that we look back at it, we can see, wow, it did actually increase our productivity in many different areas. And the same thing is happening with uh, with blockchain technology and crypto technologies. It's basically, it's faster, it's more secure, it's more efficient. You cut out the intermediaries, you can see how, for example, Lyft and Uber, uh, again, they use technology to make an existing business process much more efficient. And the same thing is happening here. Uh, there'll be a lot of change in the financial industry and there's going to be winners and losers. That's exactly what's happening with the XRP. Faster, cheaper, more efficient, cutting out the middleman, a permissionless, open source, decentralized, immutable bridge asset. First, we had the Internet of Information. Now, welcome in the new standard. XRP, the XRP ledger and the Internet of Value. We got Descent Wallets, how to stake HBAR with your Descent Wallet. Through our partnership with Hashpack app, we made it possible to stake HBAR by keeping the self-custody of your assets, requirements, having a Descent Biometric Wallet, installing the Bridge app, and install the Hashpack Chrome extension. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in staking some of your HBAR here on your Descent Wallet. The best wallet for XRP, XDC, XLM, Flare, Songbird, and now Algorand, 200 free Algorand, with a Descent purchase, link down below, get the single pack biometric wallet with the Bagman discount, 30 bucks off, and you can get the 2X package up to $100 off, double pack, get your Algo Descent wallet, not your keys, not your crypto. We got some charts to close things off, XRP 4-hour retested and closed above the diagonal support in the 21MA cryptos. New candle needs to bounce from here or risk closing below. We'll update XRP. And we got Coins Kid XRP macro. XRP is currently in a buy signal in the Coins Kid buy and sell indicator. I think that given the data, XRP is at the exact same point as the first buy signal in the chart to the left. Those of you turning will understand why. Data, not emotions. XRP setting up that next SEC base mountain pump. We got Dark Defender. Quick update on XRP. We're still in a correction with the B wave. You can check. 0.72 and back test the 6649 again with wave C. We will then continue to climb. Cheers. Load up while you still have some time. And we got Eggrack Crypto. In my humble opinion, it's essential for XLM to reclaim its place inside the white channel. Without this, our journey ahead might not shine as bright. XLM is currently at a critical juncture nestled between the FIB 0.236 and the FIB circle 1.41 levels. A monthly candle closure above these Fibonacci milestones would make a remarkable achievement from a price perspective and possibly set the stage for some exciting moves. XLM will make haters squeak. Don't get melted away. Another one from Eggrag XRP market cap 1 trillion just the beginning. 
In the wake of XRP's previous parabolic ascent where it skyrocketed by a staggering 100,000%, the current surge of 7% might seem like a mere drop in the ocean. However, let's take a closer look. Unlike the last time, this time around, achieving a 7% gain of the previous monumental rise is not only feasible, but it's practically a walk in the park for the XRP community. With that being said, Batman and bag ladies, never ever forget. We got Anthony Pompliano, BTC Maxi, says if you think Bitcoin went on a tear once CNBC and institutional investors learn about it, just wait till they get a hold of that hold XRP coming for that top spot, the flippening. Where will you be when XRP's true price is finally revealed? The regulation jar of molasses finally gets broken open. Later, Later glitches. glitches. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies for some more. Moon O'Clock News, hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up those bags, and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below, all the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button. From the top ropes, catch you up here, top floor, on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB, bring your own bags, be your own bank. Peace out, crypto ghosts. Later, glitches. Atmosphere, moon suit on. We gon' blast off here. You ain't get a bag. That's your damn fault, dear. When that rocket shit blast. Watch the whole sky clear And you stuck on the ground Probably all in tears You ain't moved no money Cause you all in fear Moon dance with me uh, All I hear is cheers Bottles popping off uh, All I see is cheers You stuck in the headlight Like a lost air Watch the rocket ship lift And we all disappear Welcome to the party